What's going on guys, World War Trails back again with another video for you guys now, a transfer daily, I've not done one in about 4 or 5 days, I was expecting so much activity from Chelsea in this January window, especially when the club got the ban overturned, we are nearly 16 days in this transfer window, I've not seen anything, you know, proper serious that we'll be looking to buy a player, but you know how it goes, I'll be keeping you guys up to date with all the gossip and reports around Chelsea in the last 24-48 hours. So if you enjoy my content, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe, and hit the bell notification still to watch just like I say in all my videos. Please comment your thoughts and opinions on each topic I speak about. I want to ask you guys right now, do you think we will actually sign any players before I, you know, speak in this video? Let me know and why. Are Chelsea keeping the funds for the summer? A big move for Sancho? Can this team survive and get top four? Now many fans, not all fans, but many fans are saying this club can, this squad can, sorry. And I think when teams are improving around us and getting players on loan or, you know, buying players, and then we've got a proper serious, busy, difficult fixtures in Feb and March, we have to be realistic and think bigger, outside the box. Yes, we're enjoying some football under Lampard, we've got some amazing results away from home, we are fixed on our home record so far. But is it enough for the rest of the season? I personally don't think so. I don't think so. I think we need one or two signings right now to help us get us, you know, past the hurdle and for the top four. Because if we don't get top four, we are not signing them top players that you guys want. You know, your Sancho's, your Werner. They want Champions League football. So we have to get top four. So the, right now, the risk is, can we get it or not? And, you know, I'm going to be... Straight up with you guys, if we get positive results against, you know, the United Cities, Bayerns, I put my hands up and I just say this team is something else. This squad is something else. I'm not expecting every single win, but if we get those wins, fair enough. I put my hands up straight up. So today's report, we're going to be looking at Isco. Chelsea fans are mixed on this player. I don't know why. People telling me one goal in 51. He's been used wrong. You know, they're not using him to his strength. You know, misused in this team so far. Yes, I think he's about 27 years old, but he's so creative. He can come into any Premier League team right now, maybe except Liverpool and City. But other than that, you know, your Tottenham, United, your Chelsea, your Arsenal, he'll come in easily, no matter what. I'll take him for 47 million. Yes, that report was said last week. It's come out again, and it's got people talking. So let me know in the comments below what you think about this player, because I feel obviously Loftus Cheek is not coming back anytime soon, and. Can we really rely on Mason Mount and Ross Barkley? If Ross Barkley comes back and does a madness like Everton form, fair enough. But, you know, I feel like we need someone there as well. So let me know your thoughts on that. You know, today's report from Italy, uh, they said that Chelsea have revived interest in Savic, or Savic, however you want to pronounce it for Lazio. Chelsea scouts were out there to watch the player against Napoli. Um, and this, for me, is, you know, someone that we were linked with last year, fantastic player, but a player... You know, similar to Lampard, I don't think we will actually spend that big money on. You know, I'll be happy if he joined Chelsea, but I don't think we really need to improve that position. I think the players for this season is good enough. So your Kovacic, your Kantes, your Dordino, it's enough for me. But, you know, in that role, it could be used like an Isco. Right? It could be, but it just depends on how Lampard wants to play in that formation. Because we don't know our best formation. He's still switching it up and finding out our best team. So, yeah, let me know in the comments below about that one. Sky Sports say Chelsea will not use Nathan Ake's 40 million release clause. So, who the hell are we signing, guys? We're talking about Zaha. That's gone. Money going on Sancho. We're saying 40 million Ake guaranteed. It's not happening. You know, he played recently. Left back, I think it was. And I think the first five minutes, he was getting ripped. Out of position, my opinion. And, yeah, slowly came back into the game. Cool. But he can he be used left back for Chelsea? That's the only place I see it because Andrews Christensen, you know, I know it's one game with Burnley, but he showed a lot more fight in him, a lot more passion, a lot more determination, you know, strength. That's what we want to see from our Chelsea defence. We need some, you know, proper leaders. And that's what we're missing. So hopefully, maybe, just maybe, Christensen could be staying at Chelsea, which is why we're not going to be using that 40 million. And, you know, Chilwell's not available. Alonso might go, then we might see Ake join. All I'm seeing is outgoings for Chelsea rather than players coming in. That's that's all I see from Chelsea right now. So it is a bit worrying because I just don't think this squad is good enough to get top four for the throughout the entire season. I'm generally worried about that February March. Our season can go from here 
to down here. We can go, you know, out of top six straight away. But I'm hope I am wrong. I hope I'm wrong. So we just seen some news on Gabby Gold as well. 18 million euros black to Flamingo. Obviously, Chelsea said no to the player. End of story. That's all it is. Chelsea said no to the player. He was offered to Chelsea. It was a no. And obviously, Leon, the president, has come out and said, you know, they are not looking to replace Dembele. 100% he will be a Leon player. Now, is he saying that for money? He's saying also when they scout for strikers, it will be for a striker that won't compete against Dembele. So it's a second striker, basically, that's, that will be coming in for Leon. And what does that tell that player that's coming in? You're not good enough to be first team. So I think he needs to pick his words carefully. Um, but I don't think Chelsea will sign Dembele this January window. It could be in the summer if we don't get Werner. But there was serious interest in this player. And we just haven't gone back because Giroud has nearly completed his move to Inter as well. Initially, Chelsea wanted €8 million Euros for a player's contract that runs out in um, in the summer. That you know could have left for free, but he needs to move now for the Euro 2020, of course. So, I think Marina has done another masterclass. And I, I've been saying it for ages. Outgoings, Marina is fantastic. The best I've ever seen. Her birthday was the other day. Happy belated birthday, of course. But for me, you know, for a businesswoman, she knows how to sell players for good money. Especially end of contract. How much did we sign in off uh, Arsenal? Not a lot. The guy's, what, 32, 33? Are we making that much money? You know, that these little funds, you know, it might be little to some people, but we can use these funds for the summer. Because I'm slowly to think right now, slowly thinking, sorry, that we'll be signing players in the summer rather than January. I don't think we're going to be risking any players. If we do, I'll be happy if we do sign players. But yeah, you know, obviously Sky Sports said, OK, you know, won't be uh, using the 40 million buyback clause. And there's no interest in Callum Wilson. I made a joke on Twitter the other day about Callum Wilson. It will be a Chelsea thing if we go for Callum Wilson or any interest. Somehow Sky Sports must have, you know, read my mind and or saw my tweet and said straight away there's no link. So that I'm happy that has happened. But right now, guys, we are officially linked FC. Okay. Linked FC, a new player every other day. Recycled rumours every single day. Um and I think we can make a start in eleven. We can have a bench with these linked FC players. And yeah, shout out to Mid East, man. He showed me a good, good picture that you know, I'm sure you guys have seen on Twitter. Fantastic. And it just sums it up. Shums? Sums it up, of course, with Chelsea. Linked FC. Monitoring FC. Sorry FC. 24 hours FC. However you want to say it now. Linked FC is our new term, guys, unfortunately. But, you know, if we use that money for the summer and buy the top players like Werner and Sancho, I'm all up for it. Straight up. But let's see if this team can get top four. There was news about Lewis uh, Dunk as well from Brighton. £50 million. Pounds. Yes. Look, all these defenders we've been linked with are decent. They're not rubbish. They're good. But they are not the solution we need in this Chelsea defence. They are not the solution. Now, I see many accounts on Twitter bigging them up saying, you've not watched this guy play. I've watched this guy play, bro. Like, if he was that good to be on that top level, your cities, your United, your Arsenal, your Tottenham, your Liverpools will be all after him. This is the first time I've seen Chelsea after this player. Every time we're linked with a new player, it's like, wow, let's go sign this player. No, it's not like that. We need to, like, relax. We need to think about how much we spend on these players. You know what I mean? Come on, man. But yeah, the plus side, we have signed a, a new player. Um, he's 16 years old. Um, you know, Brian Fabi um, Faya Bima. Uh, apologies, I can't pronounce it right. It's a very difficult name. Uh, from Norway. And, you know, he had a three-week trial, I believe it was. And uh, he signed a new deal on Friday morning last week. Uh, he was with the Chelsea players after the Burnley game. as well, took pictures of Lampard and uh, Callahan to the door. And he'll get a professional contract as soon as he turns 17 on February the 16th, which is very soon, just, you know, over a month. So, yeah, I mean, good luck to him. Another youngster on board. I mean, you know, we literally got banned for that. But, you know, it's a Chelsea thing, I guess. Um... But yeah, guys, Newcastle away next. Arsenal at home. Aubameyang's uh, appeal for a red card has been rejected. He's definitely missing the game. I'm happy about that. But yeah, this window so far is worse when we were banned and we signed Kovacic. So, interesting times ahead. 
but hopefully it is for the best any updates that come on this channel i'll be updating it as soon as possible yeah guys if you enjoy my content make sure you smash the like button subscribe and hit the bell notification to stay with us. thank you for everyone that's been supporting this channel on youtube twitter snapchat instagram and i just to let you guys know i've got tickets for united arsenal Bayern munich tottenham hit me up if you want to go so yeah guys well watch us i'm out yeah come on man sign a player man sign a player literally sign a player come on chelsea man come on let's go